going on everybody welcome to a brand new video on today's episode i'm not really sure what we're doing but i will show you guys what can happen so i just got home um, i was pretty hyped got home saw that there has been a package delivered it is package one of two so hopefully that other thing does get here pretty soon as well and we can get that installed on the one le so there have been one thing that I have done that I haven't told you guys about. So I'll let me show you guys that. Then we'll do an unboxing on the package and maybe we'll install it. So for the mod that I've already done that I kept a secret from you guys, it's nothing big on the inside. You can immediately see it though. We got more carbon. So this one is from Carbon Add-ons. Their little centerpiece right here fits really nicely, slowly. We are getting rid of all the little chrome pieces in the car. So now we do have the carbon dash, carbon air vents, carbon right there, carbon start stop button, carbon right there, carbon, carbon, and now this. Hopefully next I can get the little screen or maybe the steering wheel, but let's see. But here is the mystery package. Let's get this opened up. First glance, you guys already know, got a little hit. Let's get this thing open. All right, we got my address crossed off. Got our unboxing knife. Let's see if I do this one-handed. This thing open. All right, it's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be one-handed. Probably should use the knife. Oh, that's how you properly unbox something. Oh, snap. Check out your... Oh, don't need that. All right, all right, all right. Let's see, let's see. We got, we got something in here. The main goodie in here. And we got some hoses. A little tube. Let's see what's in here. Let's get out the main bad boy. All right, I'm gonna have to put you guys down. Give me one second. All right, got this little package opened without further. Here we go, Mighty Mouse oil catch can. So we will be getting this installed in the 1LD pretty soon. Just waiting on my other part to come in and yeah. So I'll check in with you guys probably when that other part arrives or if I end up installing this today. Should probably open up the rest of these things so you guys can see everything that comes in this kit. So we got the little clamp here. I'm guessing to hold it down, to be honest. I've never installed the oil catch can, so don't really know too much about installation, but I know it's not that hard. Let's get this box open. Uh, so this looks like the little filter piece that goes up top right here. So that's what that will end up looking like. And just hoses, more harness equipment, but that is it. So hopefully we get this all installed. Hello so. everybody, welcome back. This is the same day I just changed my clothes, got into something a little bit comfortable. Laker Nation, you are not always repping. So I did some digging on YouTube. Does not look like the install for this oil catch can is that hard. We will obviously see. But without further ado, let's get into it. Thought I'd show you guys how the engine bay looks right now. It did get detailed two days ago. So it is all nice and clean. It's probably gonna go somewhere right here. Have the tubes running in there. Really happy that that has a little red filter on it too. So all the black and reds matching in the engine bay. But let's get started so if we walk over here we got a box right here let's get some lights on all right so got the oil catch can directions who needs those got the filter this is trash Having the hose which does need to be cut got our two little fittings and bracket harness. So, let's see, what should we do first? I'm gonna put this on just because I feel like putting it on. I think it looks cool. So, let's get this out. 
Alright, let me get this out of the plastic real quick. It does look like this is oiled or something. I don't know. But I'm gonna like put it on and keep the little plastic on so that I do not mess with anything or get it dirty. So this is essentially just gonna snap on me here. Guess I need two hands for this. But basically, you're just gonna put it on. Oh, never mind, one hand it is. You should hear a little click. I'm gonna need two hands for that. At first, this was kind of hard to get on, but once I used two hands, it was pretty easy. It, it's like hard to put on, and then all of a sudden it just pulls right down. Nothing's gonna get significant. It's not that hard to put on, but sits nice and tight like this. This is gonna look really good in the engine bay. So next, we need to get these on. We need to get the harness on in the car. And yeah, so let me find out what I'm gonna do next. All right, so uh, Loki kind of forgot to film, but let me update you guys what I've done mounting wise. So if you guys can see right here, there is a little hole right here for I'm guessing Chevy knew everybody needed a oil catch can. I have no idea. Then this second screw I put in for, oh shit, you can't even see. This second screw right here, I put in before installing this screw. So this screw right here, just sits there so that the oil catch can can move up, but it won't move down. Well, once it's fully screwed in. So now this is already in the mount, so it doesn't go through anything. But this one, it goes through this little piece right here. And you can access that by putting this, putting the screw in from there and then having the washers on this side. So yeah, that's exactly how that happened. Now, I know that is a 11 millimeter bolt or washer. So now I just gotta find a way to tighten it down. All right, so this is really hard to film, but this is how I ended up tightening it. Got my wrench right here, got that right there. And I was just holding it in from the back and tightening it. So now this is all the way tightened down. And as you could see, when it, well, it's gonna end up eventually getting caught right there and it will no longer be able to move. So now I just gotta tighten that top one. How I'm gonna top, ah, how I'm gonna tighten that top one is gonna be, so I gotta fit probably a wrench or something on this side and hold it and then tighten it down from there. So let's see how it goes. All right guys, to be honest, I did it. It was a pain in the ass. My back hurts. But now, it's honestly not the most fastened down. But um, I hope it will do. So it goes up, but it won't go down. So pretty sure that's supposed to be the whole initiative behind that design. Otherwise, I honestly have no idea what else will keep it intact. But did tighten down as much as it goes. And... Time to get the oil catch can prepped to get in here. So let's go do that. All right, so now it is time to get these little fittings on. So you got the little see-through glass, whatever you want to call it, pointing towards you. So not the 90 degree, just the straight angle. I guess no angle really. Just screws on just like this. So you could do it about hand tight. And then I'm probably going to use a wrench just to tighten it a little bit, not too much, because it does have O-rings in there, and I do not want those to get messed up. And then this one, same thing, goes on this side. So I'm going to tighten these up, and I'll get back to you guys. Final step in preparation is, so we got these on. This one should be facing this way, so they're both facing that way. We got our hoses, so it does come with one hose. Just uh, find the middle point, cut it in half. Make sure you're better at finding that middle point than me, because I'm off by that much but no worries not gonna be the end of the world grab your screws grab the little mounting harness grab this I guess I could take ah, I'm gonna keep it on grab all this and let's go to the car we are at the car so let's give you guys a little I guess I don't know comparison or whatever that's how it is gonna be mounted in there to be honest it's looking really snug in there so let's see how this all plays out Guys, once you guys got the oil catch can all ready to go, then you have to remove this. So it is literally the hardest thing ever. So it's gonna be 
right here. So it was connected onto that. There is no room right here to get your finger to press down this button right here, or I guess not a button, lever, whatever you want to call it, but you got to push down and pull. As you guys could see, you guys could clearly see that I already got 10K miles on the car, probably 11 or 12 by now, but there's oil in there, which is not the best thing, but it is minimal enough stock that once it goes into the intake manifold, your engine should naturally just burn it and no harm, no foul. But once you start pushing more power, it's kind of more preventative maintenance. Don't want the car to blow up. So the oil cash can that will sit here will grab all the oil, making sure that it doesn't get into the intake manifold. Now we got to do the same thing for another, like where this, if you just follow it, it's down there. It's honestly so hard to get off just because it's so tight, but... It's doable, just gotta really try and you will get it. I took this part off, like this little Camaro thing, it just pops off. Probably honestly didn't have to at all, but I thought it'd make it easier, it really didn't, but yeah. So let me work on getting that bottom piece off. All right guys, same thing for this. The bottom one, somehow get your finger in it, push and pull. So this also does have a little bit of oil in there. Not too much. Shouldn't have any really, but it is what it is. So let's get on to the next step. All right, guys, everything is now done. Oil catch can sitting pretty. It's only honestly tucked away. Looks pretty OEM. Um, let's see. So my bad. Step by step went to shit because I got annoyed. But basically, got everything clamped on there, put the hoses on. So the top hose right here that is straight goes all the way this way and it plugs in to this bottom spot right here. And then the 90 degree goes all the way up and goes to the top spot right there. But uh, all together, this thing kind of sits down. The fit is very snug in here not sure if i should like leave that on the side but yeah it's a very snug fit and right there like as you guys can see maybe i should bend that metal piece back but that is for another time i am done for today probably need to clean that intake filter pretty soon too but that is all for today guys i will be picking up my tools but that is the install on the oil catch can. Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. Kind of an install, kind of just me doing it. I know it wasn't the best step by step, but honestly, once you guys get your hands on it, it is pretty straightforward. Um, honestly, step by step is really easy to do. It's just that I believe because I don't have the OEM intake, I have a little bit less room and my intercooler pipe got in the way but don't mind my dog back there making all that sound effects but we got it done it looks really cool this is something preventative that i wanted to have done so that i don't have oil going into my manifold but guys that is going to be it for today hope you guys liked it please like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys next time peace Give me a give me a sticker for the for the